One crisp morning, as Tom was patrolling the outskirts of the village, he noticed a peculiar sight. The usually vibrant flowers around the garden's entrance were drooping and wilting. Inside the garden, Miss Eloise was kneeling by a patch of withered lilies, her face etched with worry. Oh, dear, she muttered. This has never happened before. Tom padded over silently, his presence barely making a sound. Miss Eloise, what's wrong? Miss Eloise looked up, her eyes reflecting both sadness and relief. Tom, I'm glad you're here. Something is terribly wrong. The garden's magic seems to be fading. I've never seen anything like this. Tom's amber eyes sparkled with determination. We need to find out what's causing this. Is there anything you've noticed that could be a clue? She handed Tom a small, dark crystal that seemed to absorb the sunlight rather than reflect it. Tom examined the stone carefully, his keen senses alert. It felt cold and strange, as if it were drawing energy from the surrounding plants. I think this might be the source of the problem, Tom said. Let me investigate. Tom carried the crystal to the center of the garden, where the flowers were still vibrant and healthy. As he approached, he noticed a faint, eerie glow emanating from the stone. It was as if the crystal was drawing the garden's magic into itself. The more Tom observed, the more he realized that the crystal was not just absorbing magic, but also emitting a dark aura. He knew that removing it from the garden was crucial. But how? At that moment, Tom remembered an old tale Miss Eloise once shared about a hidden well at the far end of the garden. It was said to be a place of great power, capable of neutralizing dark enchantments. Miss Eloise nodded, her face filled with hope. Be careful, Tom. The well is surrounded by thorny vines. You may need some help. Tom's friends, the mice, had been observing from a distance. Hearing Miss Eloise's words, they scurried over, ready to assist. With Millie and her family guiding the way, Tom navigated through the thorny underbrush, carefully avoiding the sharp branches. At last they reached the ancient well, its stone walls covered in ivy. Tom carefully placed the crystal near the well's opening. He remembered that Miss Eloise had mentioned a special chant used to purify magical objects. With Millie and the other mice lending their tiny voices, Tom recited the chant. Miss Eloise joined them at the well, her eyes shining with gratitude. You did it, Tom! The garden is saved! As the sun set, casting a soft glow over the enchanted garden, Tom and his friends celebrated their success. The garden was once again a place of wonder, its magic restored thanks to their bravery and teamwork.